Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Friday the 18th of December 2015. So the market uh, moved higher in the pre-market session by 100 points and then we saw the market uh, move lower by 200 once the afternoon session started. Now we don't have any signals in the first half of the session and that's because the volatility decided to increase yesterday dramatically in the range of the bars and you can see some of these bars are over 50 points in range. So the only way to get around this is to actually adjust this uh, part of the settings inside of the indicator settings there. At the moment the minimum bar size range is 8 and the maximum 25. If I adjust this to uh, 30, 35 and then click apply you will see that we now have uh, more signals on the chart there. We have this additional one that we see the market following moving lower. Now of course uh, with increasing the size of the bar the issue that we have is that uh, the stop loss becomes greater in this case we just adjust the there we go so we can see that so the stop loss becomes uh, 62 points because of the increase in the bar size range now this uh, People tend to look at this and think, well, that's a bit of a problem. I've got a risk of 62 points here. And if you've been betting a pound per point, then it's going to expose you to 62 in order just to uh, either get 20 points or down to the next psychological level or to keep moving the trailing stop. So what you have to do to compensate for this, if you increase the bar range, you then have to adjust the risk as a percentage of the balance of the account. So uh, again, keeping it at 1%, if you've been betting at a pound per point, you may have to adjust this down to 50p, 20p or whatever. Or if you've been betting 10 pounds per point, you may have to come down to two pounds per point to account for this. So at the end of the day, ultimately, what you're looking to do is to not expose yourself to more than 1% and a maximum of 2% of your account balance. So it doesn't really matter what the stop is as long as you're adhering to the rules in the percentage risk terms so therefore you see the markets having adjusted for the volatility the range uh, increasing the range there so that you get more signals you can see how uh, again keeping that percentage allows you then to actually trade even though the stop figure increases uh, markedly there the good news is that i'm finding a way of actually doing this dynamically so that we don't have to try and second guess the market as well but it's going to take a moment or two to actually happen but uh, there is a way of actually doing this and uh, i'm currently uh, working on it so that uh, when the volatility increases or decreases in the market then uh, all we'll be looking at is the percentage of risk on the account and this will be uh, hopefully calculated automatically so it doesn't matter and then the bet per point will automatically reflect that as well so uh, i'm fully aware of uh, that we're going into a period that nobody has ever been in before where we've had interest rates increase in a uh, an economy where deflation is really starting to take a grip and the economic news items are reflecting this and therefore the volatility is going to increase. The one good thing is that the prices are going to move to the downside as opposed to the upside which is great because that means that uh, the profits come a lot quicker as you can see there. I mean to actually go back 100 points only took it a matter of minutes and yet it took all morning for the market to trade up 100 points so it's the staircase up the elevator down. And then in the evening we picked up uh, around 20 points or just a bit more as the market came back down to uh, the psychological level there of 17,500. 17, and then on the overnight the market uh, then continued to move lower as we can see in the daily chart as well. Price is continuing now to move to the downside. I can't see any upside potential. I was hoping that... Uh, the bankers were going to actually drive and manipulate the market to the upside and then in the new year we would see that what we have seen uh, yesterday but unfortunately it looks like uh, the downside is going to take control now and if we look at, at uh, this chart 17,125 if that's broken we're heading down to this level and it won't be long before we end up back down at uh, the August uh, low for just uh, move this over there's the flash crash in August the 24th of August to be precise so we've got a few um, potential support areas on the way down 
at these sort of areas as well. But the first one is the 17,125 there that uh, needs to be taken out if the market whoops, is uh, to, to, move, uh, to move lower there. So a break below this is a triple bottom. You can see how the market's been there three times and then come back. But now it's uh, looking like it's game over for the upside. On the news front, uh, they're wheeling out uh, Lacquer at 6 p.m. to speak. Medium impact, uh, again, during the quiet time of the session anyway. But it'll be interesting to see how things pan out today if the momentum continues to the downside as well there. On the implied volatility front, uh, this up slightly yesterday, 1577, which you'd expect with the drop in the background. This market has got a lot more that it can actually go to as well before we'll see any uh, stopping in the underlying market on the downside should things uh, start to take a hold. But there's certainly no interest in the upside at the moment. Of course, you will get days when the market has a day up, three down, one up, two down, etc. But uh, predominantly, it's uh, the downside for this market now. Right, that's it uh, for today. I will see you in uh, Monday's edition of the Market Alert. Just to recap on the bar size ranges, feel free to adjust. Again, what you will have to adjust though is the percentage risk of the account. And uh, if you do that, then it doesn't make a lot of difference. The difference is when you don't adjust and you increase the size of the stop and ignore the percentage risk of the account balance. Right, that's it. Have a great weekend. If there's anything to report in between, I will let you know. Other than that, uh, see you on Monday. Thanks for watching.